We live in a godless society today. Most people do not go to church on a Sunday. They stay in bed, they stay sleeping, they literally listen to their own head, they play with tarot cards thinking that they're an expert, only to find out they're full of shit or they've been tainted by someone in their interpersonal network. They make calls to people, they start gossiping about their relationships, and then some human being starts to tell them that what they're doing is not right, and what they're doing is unhealthy, and what they're doing is misrepresenting themselves, which may be true, but it could openly be a jealous friend who doesn't like to lose power in someone's life in the end. In the life of a man, a child that steals information, abuses his name, destroys his record, is called a identity thief. A person that pretends to be someone else, getting onto their files, deleting their information, deleting their profiles, is committing fraud. They are also, if they're using technology to do it, committing cybercrime, cyber crime, which practically is a federal offense because it is something that is monitored by the FBI. The FBI is a place you're supposed to be able to go when someone is harassing you, sexually assaulting you, or infiltrating your life and the police officers do nothing about it or they're the ones participating in it. Witness protection programs are something that are not always protected by those agencies and men in the force are not supposed to ask, are you in witness protection, despite the fact that you're subliminally communicating that by your hat. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and all throughout my time of homelessness, there has been some black bitch of a matronly persuasion or some white trash who never got married, who is always constantly trying to be in power over a man. They've stolen my hats, they've stolen my clothes, they've ruined my technologies, they've resourced themselves with my books, they've interfered with my intellectual property, they've destroyed relationships that God put on a path for me, and I can sit here and stand here and I can communicate this and you'll call it complaining. Or is it a man just being entertaining? Or is it someone telling you a true story that the local news people will never pick up because in their mind they're doing God's glory? The lies that people tell themselves about other people's human rights are out of control today. If you look at the United Nations website this last week, you'll find that someone has removed the pages on human rights. Why is that? Are they updating it? Are they re-verifying that they're the correct words from the original documents? Or are they trying to change the wording at the request of a billionaire like Trump so that he can play his card about medical rights in people's lives? Most people in an alternative lifestyle community are fairly upset with men who promise one thing and then lie about what they're really doing. Most people know that in a bipartisanship political system that people might be taking turns. This year we'll have a Republican. Next time we'll have a Democrat. Maybe in the future we'll eventually have an Independent, but most of them are too old to do the job. That's not exactly truthful. With age comes wisdom. But when a family member lies, steals, and cheats another out of their relationships with their parents, out of their opportunities with their own property that is lawfully, truly the individual's, not some sibling bastard or their ugly spouse, we have to decide what kind of society and nation we want to live in. Do we want to live in a world where people are getting away with abuse? And abuse comes in many forms as my sign that it's supposed to be educating the underprivileged in our community of what that is. Or is that some enticement for a stupid mind to say, hey, so that's what that is, let's do that next. As if a human being's life is a game. You see, the United Nations, the international business community, they have rules and standards, and those rules, standards, laws, and regulations actually trump any fucking federal law there is run by a government. It most definitely trumps any local state law or possibly a city ordinance unless that city ordinance is set up 
to protect people's lives. But here's the reality. We still have people who believe their opinions and their positions are more important than the local ordinances, the local laws, the federal laws that protect our lives and our records, and literally the international laws that protect our lives. Whenever I hear these politicians try to change things in the state, I simply say, we obviously don't have enough lawyers in place because they're not paying attention to the law. The reason that we have two lawyers in the White House right now is so they can pay attention to the law. They also have enough skill sets, enough networking, enough background, hopefully, that they're smart enough to hire the right people to change the laws if they're not working for the American protection system. You see, America has to protect its borders from the liars, thieves, and cheats that will taint your food, ruin your life, and literally take you out of your house without you ever knowing it. Human trafficking is something that people do all day long with their gossip. You probably haven't thought about that before, but your gossip gets people sexually assaulted. Your gossip gets people stolen from. Your gossip is done before a God in heaven that you profess to believe in. And yet your words get people harmed. Your attitudes about life get people maimed. And your stupid vil is thinking that your human mind is as brilliant, as bright, as independent as the Lord Most High, who is omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent ever still. The arrogance of the Christian and Catholic community is God doesn't make this. The smartness of a Wiccan and pagan community is, yes, the Lord does, because the good books of the world, including the fucking Bible, says he does. But you blasphemous people ruin lives with your arrogance about what God does and doesn't do in the world, what God does and doesn't do in the human soul, and your stupidity of men is thinking that a vessel is more important to God than the soul.